everyone, I am Priyanka. I am going to handle science for your class. The first topic which I am going to take is food and where does it come from? Everybody knows food because we eat it every day, right? Just check out your friend's box. Do we eat the same food? No. Each one eats different food because we have got variety of foods available to us. One eats rice, the other eats chapati, the other eats dosa and there are a lot other foods available to us, right? So let us get into the topic and let us check out what we are going to study today. Everyone eats rice, right? How do we make it? We just boil the rice in water and strain the water and get just the rice and eat it. There are just two ingredients involved in making of the rice. What are ingredients? Anything that we add to make the food is ingredients. For example, when we make a veg curry, what are the ingredients we use? Like salt and chilli powder and turmeric powder and vegetables and all these ingredients including water and all those are used in making the veg curry right so these are ingredients the ones which we add in the making of food is ingredients let's talk about the sources of these ingredients we can easily guess the sources of few ingredients that we already know so where does these fruits and vegetables come from? Yellinda barte de namge hannu, kai, vella yellinda barte de mara, alva. So we all get a lot of things from plants. So where do you think these rice and wheat come from? Have you all seen in villages? Rows and rows of plants are grown with rice and wheat, and we all take the seeds and the grains, and that is what we eat as rice and wheat, right? milk, egg, chicken, mutton, all these from? Everybody knows it, right? Because we can guess it, it's from the animals. So here's what we conclude. We get a lot of food products from plants. What are those? Like vegetables, fruits, leaves, stems and roots which we eat from plants are plant food products and the egg, milk, chicken, mutton, whatever we eat from the animal products are animal food products all right so here's what we got from cows goats and buffaloes they all give us milk do you know any other animals which give us milk what all we can make from milk those are called milk products okay so there are few milk products which are available to us in the markets like cheese butter ghee all these are available to us from the milk study the parts of the plant. I am not that great in drawing. I have just done a simple diagram for you to understand the parts of the plant. Okay. So this is the flower that I have shown in orange color. That is the flower of the plant and this is the stem and that is the leaves and fruits. seeds, Those are the fruits. The ones which you see above the soil level which are visible through our eyes are the shoot system. That is the flower, leaves, stems, fruit, seeds, whatever is you can see through your eyes and which is above the soil level is the shoot system and the one which is the below the soil level is the root system. That is there is a primary root out of which there are secondary roots coming out. roots a root is the main root and the branch out of the secondary roots. These parts of the plants are plant, uh, plant parts. Can you even guess what are the plant parts that we eat? Literally all. We eat the leaves of few kinds of plants and the flowers of few kinds of plants, the seeds, the root. Uh, for example, so the root is the carrot which we eat. That is below the soil. When you pluck out, that's the root which is available and that's the carrot and that we eat it. So we eat literally all parts of different plants. Right? Can you guess a plant in which more than two parts are eaten? Example is banana. We eat the leaf, we eat the flower, we eat the fruit, we even eat the vegetable of the banana. That is when hand naagak munche ne baale hand baale kai rathala adunu naatin tivi hand naag mele baale handu nu naatin tivi adal baro flower adunu naatin tai tivi okay. So here is just a small activity to understand about sprouts. Sprouts are all those 
which uh, we get it from the seeds and we are able to eat them and consume them anything which we are able to eat and consume is edible products edible okay so now take the seeds of moong or chana and put them in the water and keep them aside for a day the next day strain the water take those seeds put them in a vessel cover them with a wet cloth and put them aside for another day the third day you will notice changes that is the seeds would have sprouted what are sprouting there's white structures coming out from those seeds all right now let us talk about honey jain tuppa anta heltivala ade honey everybody knows about it right do you know where do we get honey from jain tuppa ellin bartta ide jain ulla inda so these honey bees are the ones who collect honey they go to different flowers and collect nectar what is nectar they are kind of sweet juices which are available to the honey bees from those flowers so they collect them and they store them in their houses what where are these houses of honey bees located they are the bee hives okay you can see them on trees and from where we go and collect the honey all right discuss about an important topic to you in this chapter is do you all have a pet or have you even seen a pet like a dog or a cow or a goat or sheep whatever pet it is so you will already be knowing a lot of the lot of the things about these pets right what do your pets eat is what we are going to discuss about all the pets or all the animals which eat herbs shrubs and plants are herbivores that is they eat vegetarian and simple okay so for example of herbivores we have cows what do cows eat cows eat grass and small small plants right so they are herbivores and all the animals which consumes other animals and other animal products and which depend upon uh, animal foods are carnivores example of carnivores there are tigers what do tigers eat they hunt other animals and they eat them so they are carnivores there is another type of animals which eat both plants and animals like they after the animals die na there is few animals which come and eat them and they also eat plants for their living so what are such type of animals called they are omnivores omnivores eat both plants and animals for a living for example these crows they usually eat uh they usually live on the trees and they eat plant foods right and when there's something dead like a rat on the street they come and they eat them also isn't that interesting they are called omnivores so with this we end the chapter food and where does it come from so i hope you have understood and learned something today let's actually give a quick revision okay so the first few things which we'll be revising is the important words that you've learned today the first word would be ingredients uh, do you even remember what i have told about ingredients when you make food and the things which you add into the food when you making it and prepare a delicious meal is ingredients all the things that you add in the making of food is ingredients second word would be edible all the things or any component or any item which you be consuming it should be eating as food is edible any item that you can eat is edible any item which you cannot eat is not edible okay like for example you can eat fruits you can eat vegetables you cannot eat your pencil or your eraser all right the third word which i have learned newly is nectar we saw about nectar when we learned about honey and honey bees right where does this nectar come from it comes from the flowers what is it it's just a sweet juice type which uh, the honey bees go and collect from the flowers and store it as honey fourth new word would be sprouted seeds we had a small activity regarding this sprouted sprout seeds that is keep the seeds in the water for a day and then the next day you strain the water and then take out the seeds and put them in a vessel cover them with a wet cloth the next day you observe a change that is 
White structures come out from the seeds and we are able to eat them. They are edible. So, next three important words that we've learned today is herbivores, carnivores and omnivores. All these three words are related to the animals. The animals which eat plant and which sustain with them are called herbivores. Okay. For further examples, other than cow, we have deers, we have cows, we have squirrels and um, so on we have a lot of example for herbivores you can find it out and you can take it as an activity okay and then for carnivores what are carnivores the animals which depend upon other animals and the meat they survive on meat are called carnivores example for carnivores would be tiger leopard cheetah lion etc okay and the last word is omnivore omnivores are the animals which depend both on plants and animals for their survival what are those i gave you an example as crow there's other examples such as vultures rats dogs all these okay so who do you think humans are are they herbivores or are they carnivores no they are omnivores because we humans eat both plants and animals and intake them as food hoping that you have understood the chapter today i would like to conclude this class thank you